While most kids spend their lunch eating or talking to their friends about school, these kids choose to battle it out on the basketball court in the new club, the Masters Rec Basketball League. This is the Masters Rec Basketball League, started by junior Charlie Cooper. I played in the Harrison Rec Basketball League for like my whole childhood, my whole life. I'm from Harrison. It's like the town league, so every, everyone lives near each other, so it's like easier to handle for a whole town to do it. Um, I kind of felt like that was a really nice thing in the community. So at Masters, you know, everyone lives all over. It's kind of hard to get that sense of uh, community. And, you know, I just wanted to merge, like, basketball with, you know, community and have, have a league that was just fun for everybody. Like, it was fun, semi-serious. You know, there's going to be a champion. There's going to be playoffs. It'll be competitive. Um, just all around, you know, just fun basketball, even not, like, during the offseason. So. The club runs with the assistance of Joe D, the club advisor. I, I did. It was great. I mean, it was pretty exciting. We had a big turnout, a lot of spectators every day, um, everybody wearing a mask and complying to all the rules, which made it nice. Um, so we could all sit back and enjoy the game and not worry about those things. The club has run into some difficulties. The once packed courts are now empty as the league enters their third hiatus. This one is due to the intersection with the winter season. The issue lies in the health of Masters athletes. To ensure that injuries won't happen, Mr. Condon has shut down the league. All right, I guess our frustration is we won all these games. We, you know, went during lunch and, you know, you know we don't, we like our food. We like our food and we went during lunch. And I think the amount of games that we won, and like, you know, we want the bragging rights. So I think um, <laughs> uh, we're frustrated by the fact that we won all these games and we played all like this much to have yeah. games. And also, we were so close to finishing because, you know, we gave up our lunch, and it's important to us, and we had just one more game, and, you know, we were going to go we're gonna go all out. We haven't really done that before, and we're really looking forward to some nice competition. The future of the NBA this year is unsure, but next year, Cooper and Barche have many plans for the next season. I think specifically... All-Star weekend. All-Star all -star game. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking about maybe doing a draft, not positive, but... You know, different teams, kind of like trying to mix up the league a little bit. This has been Lucas Seguinot and Lily Zuckerman, TBN at the Masters School.